The arrogance of Bum Bright, Jerry Jones, and Jimmy Johnson to show up in Dallas before Landry's been told he's fired boggles the mind. It was the day after at Valley Ranch. New Cowboys owner Jerry Jones was on the phone, taking charge as he promised he would do. Among the items on his agenda were an interview with a New York radio station and a phone conversation with Coach Jimmy Johnson. While Jones was taking care of business, his family was getting the royal treatment, a guided tour of the football complex. Well, we've uh, uh, worked real hard today, and uh, guess, I guess it's, what, 6 o'clock, and uh, we'll be here till probably uh, 3 this morning, tonight, and uh, we're basically uh, working on the details of uh, uh, the acquisition and uh, uh, not spending any time back here footballing now. Meanwhile, on the other side of Valley Ranch, Tom Landry sat in his office, sifting through the past. You never know how many fouls. <laughs> yeah, boy, when you try to clean them out. Gosh, it's amazing. Landry quietly emptied 29 years of his life into cardboard boxes. He says he's not bitter, change comes with a new owner, and that people will forget him soon. But there's no forgetting a legend. Landry compiled 20 straight winning seasons, 18 trips to the playoffs, and two Super Bowl crowns. But life goes on for the Cowboys. The team's mini camp for veterans and free agents is tomorrow. Doctors examined the new players this afternoon, and each player received at no cost jocks and socks, courtesy of Jerry Jones. I intend to know if, have an understanding of the cleat Complete situation. I intend to have an understanding of the player situation. I intend to have an understanding of jocks and socks. Jones brings in a new era, a new philosophy, a new attitude. But will it rival the success of the old guard?